Some private marijuana store operators are crying foul over what they say is not a level playing field. There have been rumblings recently about Indigenous stores operating without a license, and while that issue remains a sore spot for many pot shops, there is another pot seller that is raising their ire, and that's the provincial government. Jordan Perkins operates pot shops in Lumbee and Armstrong and said he has to pay at the province 15% more for the same product as the BC Cannabis store pays. We're in tough times right now. You know, like our, mm -hmm. our stores aren't doing like the, the best, that, you know, as, as there's, we're in the middle of COVID season. And meanwhile, the government is opening up a store in Vernon to compete with its citizens. It just doesn't make any sense to me at all. Mm -hmm. They are undercutting us. Yeah, they, we pay 15% more than they pay. But it's, it's a complete unfair playing field. Spirit Leaf owner Sarah Ballantyne agrees that it seems the province has given itself the upper hand when it comes to selling pot in BC. They're building out stores that cost about $2 million. So that's all taxpayer funded. They technically don't need municipal approval in order to open. And they're also not inspected by our inspectors. We're all capped at eight stores. So I can only grow eight stores. But the Vernon store was the 17th store that they opened. So they're not even playing by their own rules. There's been a lively discussion in the email thread, like thousands of emails going back and forth um, about, you know, potentially having like a class action lawsuit against them. So it's getting quite um, heated. For Castanet News, I'm Darren Hanchu in Vernon.